Slava Jesusu Christu, Glory be to Jesus Christ. Blessed Methodius Dominic Trechka was a Czech redemptorist who embraced the Byzantine rite in the 1920s and served the Byzantine Catholic Church in Eastern Slovakia exclusively until his martyrdom in 1959. He truly lived out the motto of the Redemptorist congregation, with him is plentiful redemption. His life was marked by a missionary zeal to the most abandoned in Eastern Europe. His desire to do the will of God not only allowed him to be available for service wherever the word of God needed to be proclaimed, but also nurtured in him a truly Christian fortitude that kept him from betraying his identity as an apostle of Christ for lost and abandoned brothers and sisters. When he became vice provincial for the newly formed Nikolovce Redemptorist Vice Province in 1946, he became a constant target and thorn to the atheistic communist regime that was controlling his country. His missionary zeal to spread Christ's gospel came into direct conflict with the state's aim to reduce the role of religion in people's lives. Sermons preached by Blessed Methodius and his redemptorist confers were reported to local authorities. Harassment over the contents of sermons being against the government was reported, and little skirmishes began happening as the government began slowly strangling the right of freedom of religion. In July 1948, local police conducted a massive search of the Mikolovce Monastery but no anti-government propaganda was found. In 1949, the vice province was suppressed by the government and its assets seized as if it were an illegal drug operation. Finally, on the evening and morning of April 13th and 14th, all the male religious in Slovakia were arrested and transported to a monastery at Podelenitz where they were interred in a massive prison. For nearly the next nine years, Blessed Methodius lived in the Czechoslovak Gulag in terrible conditions, brutalized by guards, undergoing inhuman interrogations aimed at having him either renounce his work as a Byzantine Catholic priest or expose other faithful priests that may have escaped the authorities noticed. Fellow prisoners said that to protect his confreres, Blessed Methodius would take the blame and calmly endure torture. After two years of this treatment, on April 12, 1952, Blessed Methodius was convicted at a show trial of being an enemy of the state and sentenced to 12 years hard labor. He served his time in different prisons, and despite his age, he was in his late 60s, and the harsh conditions and constant torture, his spirit supported by constant prayer and knowing he was doing God's will, never wavered. During the Christmas season of 1958, Blessed Methodius was locked up in the notorious vicious Leopoldo prison. A guard overheard him singing one of his favorite Byzantine Christmas carols, the opening verses which are visible on the scroll he is holding in the icon, Viflejemi novina, viva sina porodiela, roughly translated, in the town of Bethlehem, Mary's son is born a king. For daring to sing a Christmas carol, Blessed Methodius was locked up in solitary confinement, and there he contracted pneumonia. On March 23, 1959, having forgiven his jailers following the example of our Lord and the first martyr, Saint Stephen, Blessed Methodius completed his earthly pilgrimage in the prison cell in Leopoldov. He was buried in the prison cemetery. In 1969, when there was a thaw between the government and the Byzantine Catholic Church, or the Greek Catholic Church as it was known, Blessed Methodius's remains were exhumed from the prison cemetery and placed in the Redemptorist plot in the Mikolovce Cemetery. He now rests in the Redemptorist Church of the Holy Spirit in Mikolovce. In 1990, after the fall of communism, his name was cleared by the regional court in Košice. So the state 
in effect, accepted responsibility for his unjust imprisonment, sentencing, and death. For his faithfulness, holiness, and witness to his profession of faith and apostolic commitment, Blessed Methonius Dominic Trechka CSSR was beatified by our late Holy Father on November 4, 2001, as a martyr. We pray that, God willing, he will join his fellow Redemptorist saints, Alphonsus Liguri, Clement Hofbar, Gerard Mugella, and John Neumann, his fellow Czech Redemptorist, in the ranks of the canonized saints in the Catholic Church. Now impart my blessing. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for us, always, now and ever and forever. Amen.